I'ma start a ride. Yeah, yeah. Sorry if I'm blind. What up, everyone? Today we have my favorite looking fire blade list. Yes, everyone likes a ranking video. We're only going to use fire blades with fuel injection. All the older ones, they're classics. You know, it's just going to make it harder to decide. And we are not taking into account performance, just aesthetically pleasing to me. So here we go from least favorite to my favorite looking fire blade. And just to be clear, I don't think any of the fire blades are ugly. Some just look better than others in my opinion. We're just going to start off with my least favorite. And that is the 2008 through 2011 fire blade. Okay, so now this bike looking from straight on, it's not a bad looking bike. You know, the rear is not bad. It's very skinny and pointy. Um, but the front, it just looks like it got smashed in. And I know, I guess they're doing it for a quicker high speed steering, but we're not talking performance. All right, next up, we have the 2000 to 2001 CBR 929 RR. Yes, I own the bike. And just because I own the bike doesn't mean I'm going to put it at number one. It looks good from the side. From the front, it looks a little dated. The rear has a fat ass. I like big butts and I cannot lie, but not on my bike. It's usable space, but it's based on looks. And when I think of a fire blade, I picture sharp edges and the bike is real round at certain places. All right, so next up on the list is the 954. Yeah, it's pretty much a 929 but sharper. The rear got smaller. The headlights, although similar to the 929, it's a lot more sharp looking. It has more edges. You know, just like how a fire blade should be sharp. And honestly, I would take a 954 over the 929 any day. Next up is the new 2020 fire blade. To me, it looks like a combo of the 2017 Fireblade had a child with an R1. It's a new bike, and so sometimes it takes a little while for the look to grow on you. Kind of like how the BMW S1000 RR and the asymmetric look. Um, it took a while for me to just to feel it, to dig it. I was like, at first, I was like, what are they doing? But you know, after a while, it does grow on you. So maybe if I were to make this list two to three years from now, the rankings might change. Who knows? All right. We're down to the top three. At third best looking fire blade, we have the 2017 to 2019 fire blade. I'll admit, I didn't like the way the bike looked at first. It definitely grew on me. It reminds me of a Ronin Warrior for some reason. The more I see it, the more I like it. Just not enough to make it into my top two. All right, for the final two, you no, know, I'm not gonna lie, I lost a lot of sleep over this one. I don't know who was gonna be number one. Really tough. But at number two, it's gonna be the 2012 to 2016. I love the headlights. The, the edges on there, it's a, a very pretty bike. I love the way it looks. The only reason it wasn't number one is because of the exhaust. Maybe if it had an underseat exhaust, it might have edged out the number one. Who knows? Alright, so for our number one fire blade, we have the 04 to 07. I kind of grouped them together because, you know, there were minor changes. They look very similar. Like, the front ends look very similar. Except for the nose of the 06 to 07. It was kind of cut off a little bit. It really reminds me of my 06 CBR 600 RR. The under seat exhaust. 
the symmetric look it's just beautiful in my opinion I think those years the whole motorcycle industry had their bikes looking right that's my favorite that's just my favorite that's just my opinion and this is my list what do you think how would you have changed the rankings leave a comment and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want more content like this I hope everyone has a blessed day. Stay safe out there on your two wheels. Until next time, peace out.